This is a quick tip to add an extra dimension and a bit of pizzazz to your still images by having text move behind parts of your image. And the effect can also be done with other objects that are moving behind your image. But the text is the most effective because it's so unnatural that it demands the viewer's attention. I'll show you in Final Cut Pro, but this can be done in any editing software that's got multiple tracks, masking abilities and keyframes. My name's Bruce and I've been teaching Final Cut Pro since version 1 was first released. That's over 20 years ago. If we've met before, welcome back. But otherwise, please like, subscribe and press the bell to be notified of more videos of Final Cut Pro. And also consider joining the members only section of this channel where you can have your questions about Final Cut Pro given priority and answered by an industry professional for just $1.49 per month. And you can cancel at any time. Just press the join button below. I've got a picture here of a lighthouse that was downloaded from Pixabay. I'll add it to the timeline with the E key. You can see that it doesn't fill the whole screen and there's black bars on either side. So move over to the inspector and select Fill under Spate or Conform. Next, holding the Option key, I'll duplicate the clip by dragging it above. I've disabled the bottom clip by pressing the V key. Now add a Draw Mask from the Effects Browser and put that inside the top clip. Let's increase the size of the viewer so that we can see more details. Use the little red button to move around the viewer to show the lighthouse part of the image. Then turn off the Transform tool so that the Pen tool shows for you to mask out the lighthouse. No need to be too accurate with the masking, but make sure you keep the mask outside the lighthouse. Now select a title to drag into the timeline between the two clips. I've selected Blur because it's a default title supplied with Final Cut and it's got a built-in blur effect at the beginning and the end so that the text doesn't need to travel all the way across the screen. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I'll return the viewer to its normal size. Place the playhead towards the beginning of the title of the timeline where the blur is still showing. Now type in the new words and turn on the transform tool again. Mark a keyframe from the top of the viewer and move the playhead to the end of the title clip so that the blur is still showing. With the shift key held down, that's to constrain the movement of the text by keeping it on a horizontal plane. Drag the text in the viewer past the lighthouse and position it well before the right hand edge of the screen you'll see a red line indicating the path that the words are taking. Finally, re-enable the bottom clip by pressing the V key again. Play from the beginning of the clip. And as I said before, this concept can be applied to any video editing software that's got multiple tracks, masking abilities and keyframes. Rather than just text, this is a butterfly that's moving behind the cat to give a three-dimensional effect to your still image. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like and subscribe and press the bell.